Hey guys! How often should I run? How often do you run? That's a question that's come up so many times for me and the impact of how often I run on my performance and my motivation for future runs. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the factors, the variables and the things that get in the way of the answer to how often should I run? Let's get into it. So it's not a straightforward answer to how often should I run? And I've played with many different combinations. Three times a week, twice a week, once a week. <laughs> Never really more than that, to be fair. And it all depends on so many things. But how often I run also determines how my running is when I do run. So one of the first thing is all about goals. So it depends on what the goals are. When we started Couch to 5K, the recommendation was three times a week. And because we were trusting the coach, we did three times a week. And that regime really helped. It helped me from motivation, knowing I'm running three times a week. These are the days I'm running. This is the time I'm running. It really helped me to get out the door without too much thinking about what I was meant to be doing and when I was meant to be doing. All of that was sorted out. So when I had to get over the whole, oh, I don't know really if I want to do it today or not, it didn't bother me so much because I knew it was like a schedule. I knew exactly when and how and how often and how far I'd be going, even what I was going to be wearing. Then it came to winter time. So environment makes a big difference, whether what the weather is. And I started to plan around the weather, when it was going to be raining, when there was a gap in the day. So it became less regimented for me and more of a, I want to run and I'm going to find a time during the day when I can run but I don't necessarily want to run when it's pouring down with rain. <laughs> of course, sometimes I had to, and there is a video about that. So in between training and the goals, whether that's 5K, 10K, and for those that can, half marathons and marathons and ultra marathons, I see that, of course, there's the, just the joy of running, they're getting out there and they're enjoying it. Seems to me that I'm always training for something and sometimes that can wear you out. So then that can feel like a burden or something that I have to do, another, another thing on my to-do list to check off. So I found that to balance a training plan with just sometimes some fun running, some just getting out there for the joy of it, like when I run with my friend Jenny or when I run with Dazzle, and, and, and soon I'll be doing park runs. So doing just social running for the joy of running and honoring your body. Then there's workload and family and that whole balance. And I found that to be rather difficult. You know, having the, the work schedule, sometimes I work very long days. I leave very early in the morning to get to the prison and then I work a long day and then I'm driving home and I don't feel like going for a run or on occasions I have felt like going for a run but I felt like I need to be with my family at that time and they want to see me and have dinner and talk to me. <laughs> so balancing all of those things is, can also be a bit tricky. Then of course there's the cross training and the strength exercises in between. So one of the huge things that I've learned on this journey is not, it's not just about running. If you want to run well and you want to perform well and you want to run without injury, you have to do strength exercises and other exercises, cross training, biking, swimming, Tabata routines, all sorts of other things. If you want to avoid injury, you want to run better. Ultimately, there's no right or wrong answer. How often you run has to be determined by you and what you want to do and what you want to get out of it and your lifestyle. For me, I've come to the place where 
I try to balance it all knowing that running is a priority for me and and the exercises in between and I'm still playing with that. I hope that's helpful. I'd love to know what your routines are and let me know in the comments below and of course like and subscribe. Lots of love. Bye.